Today's episode is sponsored by Cheez-Its Snapped. Cheez-Its Snapped are a thin, crispy, and cheesy way to take your lunch to the next level and make you wonder why you ever settled for boring old chips. If you want to find out how I level up my lunch on set, head to the Cheez-Its YouTube channel and watch my episode of What's for Lunch. The link is in the description. I don't think I've ever been so happy to walk up a hill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Mexico, Prevalo. So Choco and I just drove into Tamazula, Jalisco. It's a town about five hours southeast of Mazatlan. We're here because my friend Juan Garcia, he's a vidiero from LA. He's, he was born and raised here in Jalisco and he's invited us down to try some of the best viria in Tamazula. So I'm meeting him at the Mercado. He's gonna take me to his favorite little puesto and I'm really excited. Also, I'm really hungry. Juan! Hey! How's it going, man? Good, how are you? I'm Chocolate. fine. You ready to eat? Yes, I'm so hungry. So man. this is a, so good. a popular viria here in Tamazula. Wow. So, so yeah, that's pretty much the basic plate that you would order here. Okay. Yeah. The consomme here is a little bit clear. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if his sauce is vinegar based, but it's probably vinegar based. Okay. Oh, it's different, huh? That's so good. I'm gonna taste each component just I, to like. I think you have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gave us a machito, which is practically the testicles. The menudito, which is all the innards, potatoes, carrots, calabaza. Um, they even do chayote on there sometimes. Wow. It's like subtle. It's not too goaty, right? Mm. It's so rich. And, and the spice is just right, I think, on, on that. So you were telling me that a clear herb broth yeah. is an evolution. Yeah, so I don't know why. I remember a time when it was a little bit darker than this. Mm -hmm. It wasn't too red, but it was a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know, like maybe 10 years back, it just it went clear. It went straight out clear. Now, yeah. how does it compare to yours? Uh, mine is more red. Like it's it's uh, rich in chiles. This one is not, so there's no color, there's no, nothing giving it that, that look. Even though I really love this, I really want to try yours. Yeah, definitely. Come out and we'll do it. Sounds like a plan. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Why? Hey, Rick, what's up? How you doing, How are you? man? All right. Let's go make some video. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check out the ovens. Come on, Choco. Let's go. Whoa. Yep. So here we are. This is so cool. So yeah, so we're with uh, Jesus Montañez. We call him El Chuse here in the barrio in La Galeana. He's an uh, old school birriero, and he let us use his oven. What are they made of? Uh, donkey manure. Really? Among many things, yeah. <laughs> really? And then donkey, they, they eat a certain plant uh -huh. and it allows it to like bind everything together so it doesn't crack, so it doesn't like split. That's insane. Yeah. Now, have you, have you cooked in an oven like this? I have not and we're gonna learn today. Okay, so now we're gonna start the fire. Yeah. Okay, how do we do that? So we use a cote. We put it in, we stack the wood, mm -hmm. we light it up and then when that dies down, we add more wood. We continue doing that until like the oven is pretty hot to touch, yeah. Okay. So once you can, like, stand your hand in there, like, that's it. It's ready to go. All right. Yeah. All right, so we'll be back in, like, what? Uh, uh, about two hours. Two hours? Yeah. All right, let's go prep the goat. Let's go. You like it hot? Yeah, I'm, watch. My mom is gonna say it. it's too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this, that's a lot of chile. How much, uh, how much goat are we using? Uh, the goat initially weighed 25 kilos. Okay. Uh, now it's less, I don't know exactly how much, uh -huh. but like I told you, it's by feel. Yeah, yeah. So this is enough to cover the pieces and to have a little bit more just to pour over. Mm -hmm. And then that should be enough. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna first uh, put these in hot water. Okay. Let them soften up a little bit more. We're gonna blend them. We're gonna 
combine all these spices here. And then we toast animal crackers. Yes. We're gonna incorporate orange juice as well. We're gonna have fun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, let's go to work. All right, so this is the last batch of the chiles. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start adding the spices. We're gonna blend it and then pour it onto the rest. Okay. Oh, wow. it's crazy. Uh, we're gonna dip the goat into the, the adobo mm -hmm. and then we're gonna start placing it. Gonna get a little bit messy. Wow, that is so beautiful. Yeah. So. And pretty generous? Uh, yeah. So this is a special tequino spot here in Tamasula. Um, what makes this special is that they use uh, the actual corn sprouts. They sprout the corn. And then they ferment it, they blend it, they ferment it, they add the pimentillo, all that stuff. So it's like a, almost like a beer. Like a very light beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's been five hours. Five I'm hours. starving. Me too, man. <laughs> I had my nap. I'm ready to go. It looks, it's crazy. It looks like it's been just like cemented over. Look at it, I just, honestly, I think this is probably the best I've ever done, and we haven't even tasted it yet, so. Well, we gotta walk up a hill with this. <sighs> down a hill. Oh, down, oh, even, yeah. okay, great. I'm not worried anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, if it falls, <laughs> I mean. I am going to eat this off the, yeah. off the pan. I'm down, I'm down, let's do this. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> Go, man. So excited about the that. The moment we were waiting for. Yes. So now tell me about this salsa. So this salsa is tomatillo based. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. It has a couple of tomatoes mm -hmm. in there too. It has all the spices that the birria has. All right. And then tell me about your matcha. The matcha is guajillo. It's uh, chile de arbol, mm -hmm. uh, salt, and a bunch of garlic. No, it's so beautiful. Yeah. It gives it that nice heat. I, I think birria needs to be, you know. Hot. Yeah. I think everything needs to be spicy. <laughs> for real. Here's to you. Cheers, thank Cheers. you for, for doing this, God. Oh man, that's incredible. Well, like, I'm used to my birria, but mm -hmm. this oven makes a huge difference. Really? Yeah. If we had this birria and the one that you normally make, side by side, blindfolded, you'd know, you'd know which one. Mm -hmm. 
there's just, there's so much happening. The salsa with the tomatillo, kind of the dark smokiness of yeah. the, the matcha. You have a little bit of the smoke and the earthiness in the, the birria. And, and I don't know if it's because I'm used to it, but the, you could taste the, the citric uh, part of the birria when, you mm -hmm. know, from the oranges. And, and it's, it's, even though like this is very complex, the, the birria itself is actually pretty simple. I mean, relative to the like, other yeah, recipes right. that I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so why, why is this important to you? Oh man, uh, many reasons. I guess in a way to preserve like the history of this dish. Mm -hmm. And the second part would be intertwined with that, which is part of my family. This dish is part mm -hmm. of my family. It's just, you know, for generations, I'm the fourth generation birriero in, in my family. So it's like, if I don't keep it going for the new generations, like I don't know who else will. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important. I think it's important for my children to know uh, their past and possibly the future, you know? Mm -hmm. What do you think is the most important thing for Latinos in the U.S. right now, young Latinos, to know about our culture? Uh, look at today. I never cooked in an oven before. Mm -hmm. uh, if it wasn't for this, who knows if I would have. And so today was a learning experience for me too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take that back. I'm gonna build on that and I'm gonna share that. Keep digging, I always say that. Keep mm -hmm. digging, like you never know what's in your family, what's in your family history. And food has this weird part to it where it connects people from different places. And you may, you may think you don't have anything in common, but food brings you together. Mm -hmm. And birria is an example of that, you know? Spanish and then the Aztecs, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So. I keep digging. That's all I can say. Yeah. I just want to tell you how incredibly grateful I am that you did this. You know, I've eaten birria all over the country, right. but actually, like cooking it with someone and being able to like experience it, and also, you know, seeing the the process of the oven through your eyes yeah. was so incredible. And meeting your family, and I'm so touched that you shared your family's recipe with me. Well, I feel the same, man. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm first of all, I'm glad you guys, you know, were interested in this and and. Thank you for helping me spread the Virria gospel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Reach, like, brother. Are you going to build another taco? Uh, are you? And I will if you I, do. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do I it. mean, okay. we're here for a reason. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy right now. I am full. The weather is amazing. This place is gorgeous. And I can't wait for the next episode. We will see you again. Thank you for joining us on Prevalo. Today's episode is sponsored by Cheez-It Snapped. Thin, crispy, and cheesy, Cheez-It Snapped pair well with any kind of sandwich. And the Jalapeno Jack flavor pairs especially well with the muffaletta I made for my episode of What's for Lunch. Head over to the Cheez-It's YouTube channel now to see how I took my lunch to the next level. The link is in the description.